Hey everybody, Dr. Charlie here. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about sympathetic resonance technology, something that we brought in here recently and uh, I explain it to people but they still, there's just some kind of just disconnect and there's a lot of information that goes on in our treatments. So I think it's good to just do a video just solely on that if, if a patient tests for that, if you test for it, so you kind of know a little bit about that. And this is what it looks like. Uh, it looks like a little old school Game Boy. Um, you turn it on, there's a blue light that comes on, but what it's doing is it's generating frequency outwards of it. So it doesn't have to be pointed at you. You'll see people wearing it in a blue belt in different areas of your body. Now, sympathetic resonance technology, or we call it CRA technology or SRT technology, was developed at Stanford University. And within this, I don't want to get too technical because it's just going to confuse people with the physics terms, but uh, there's three different uh, oscillators or uh, devices, so to speak, in here that what they do is they, they uh, emit three different frequencies that get together and they generate the frequency of a healthy human cell. Now think about it like this. There's a lot of therapies out there that people talk about stem cells. And a stem cell is a cell that can go anywhere in the body and turn into a healthy human cell. There's a lot of great research on it. And I don't want to say this is a stem cell, but the theory of what it's doing is similar to that. The body, as you wear this in these blue belts, will basically take the energy that it's creating and go into your body at the cellular level and start healing cellular tissue. Now that could be anything. That could be organ tissue. That can be um, like a broken bone, bone tissue. I have a lot of athletes who come in here and instead of icing their knees after you know a, a game or, or, pr or intense practice, they'll wear a belt of these lights around the area and it'll just the inflammation, everything, it just heals that tissue. Um, but you can use it for many, many things. So most times you see people around the heart because the number one organ in the body is the heart. The heart is strong, you're healthy, you're vibrant. So that's what these were really designed for was to heal the human heart from emotional trauma, structural trauma, chemical trauma. And there's different reflexes on the body. So one is over the heart, right? But another thing that people come in here with is adrenal gland dysfunction. So instead of putting it right over the adrenals, oftentimes the patient will have to wear the belt around the knees because energetically the knees are related to the adrenal glands. So it's not like, uh, okay, I'll, I can maybe buy it for myself and then it's just like a certain thing, a setting that you would put it on. You gotta go through the, if you're not testing, you're guessing, you gotta go through the muscle testing, see where the body wants it, how long it wants it, how often it wants it. And it's gonna be a very uh, simple protocol um, and it's not like a one time you're done, it will come in and out of treatments. For instance, if a patient comes in and their body's like, please just give me energy, I'm, I'm so beat down, you might need an hour or so over your heart. Then the next treatment, when I'm testing you, you might not test for it yet because the body got the energy it needs and it wants to kind of heal itself and do its thing. So it will go in and out of treatments and um, or I'm always testing for that, always testing for that. So again, sympathetic resonance technology, uh, essentially, um, uh, what really what, it, what it's doing, synthetic resonance technology, is a physics term. And one way that people always relate to it, whenever I say this, everyone's like, oh, I get it, is when females live together, they menstruate together. That's a phenomenon in physics called sympathetic resonance. And that's what this is really doing. It's sympathetic resonance of a healthy human cell, so your body will sing back at that same frequency. Another example is when you see rooms full of big clocks that have the pendulums that swing back and forth. If they swing back and forth at all different times, within minutes they will synchronize to each other. It's the same thing that we're doing with this except for we're doing healthy human cell tissues from organs, bones, injuries, uh, discs, ligaments, tendons, tissues, you name it. This is very versatile, many different applications. Um, I hope this helps. I'm sure there's going to be some other uh, questions from you guys. If you guys want to hear more about it or this video didn't cover that, let me know. I can make another video to help people in the future. Uh, but hope to see you guys soon. Take care.